Hi guys, I'm going to show you how you can create your own spoofed MySpace login page. And this is for educational purposes only, and I highly suggest you do not actually put um, a spoofed MySpace page on the web, as you could uh, get into some trouble for this. But uh, anyway, we're going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to do a new website. And if you don't have Visual Studio 2008 or uh, don't know how to use it and uh, don't know how to code in C Sharp, then um, all the source code is available on my forum, which and the link is to my description, and I have a little guide on how to uh, put that, set that all up. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and create our website. And while this is uh, building, let's go ahead and go to myspace.com. Right click, view page source. Going to do a quick control A, control C, just to copy the entire source there. And let's head over to back to Visual Studio. The reason this is uh, running a little bit slow is I'm uh, testing out recording for my netbook today, which is also why the resolution is a little bit different. Uh, let's go ahead and select all this, paste that in. All right, and we have to add a, a uh, form tag just so that the ASP uh, net controls will work. Very slow. All right. And we have to add one at the top, too. Okay. All right, now let's go ahead and find where those text boxes and the buttons for the login in are. And here they are. Here's the uh, label, email label, the uh, password label, and here are the text boxes. So we're just going to go ahead and highlight the text box for the emails. And we're going to put in our, our own text box. And I've already created one. Just going to go ahead and copy that. You see it is just an ASP uh, text box run at server, and the ID for it is email TV. And let's go ahead and do the same thing for the password text box. And for this one, I made sure that the text mode equals password, so it'll display those old password characters instead of the actual text, which is what the uh, MySpace website does as well. And now let's go ahead and do the button. And the code for that is right here. Go ahead and delete that. And let's go get our code for our button. Paste that in. That is just <coughs> an ASP button, and uh, the ID for it is button one, and the click event argument is click, and we overwrite the code for that a little bit later. And just the text login, just to make it look as similar as possible to the original uh, login button. And now we have to get rid of some of the uh, code that would um, not enable it or uh, make it so that we would not be able to actually uh, copy the data. So we have to get rid of this right here all the way up to here. Let's go ahead and delete that. Otherwise, when we hit the login, it would just redirect to MySpace without actually executing our code. And then we have to get rid of this form thing here. And then one more thing, this one. Go ahead and delete that whole line. All right, we're good to go. Now let's write that code for the text boxes and the submit button. Here's our uh, back end code. I think it was click. And I have already written the code. 
code for this. Uh, the root path string is just the uh, base path of wherever you have your default.aspx uh, web page. And we are going to create a uh, uh, .txt file. You can rename it anything you want. Probably should do log file.txt. And that will be created wherever you have your default.aspx page. And um, if you don't want others to read it, you can also make it so it's not web visible so that others can't come in and read your passwords. And we have created a stream, which we need to actually add this in to make it actually work. There we go, different colored. And um, we made sure to use file mode append so that it wouldn't just rewrite uh, the text file each time uh, someone clicked that uh, login button. And then we are writing the email TB, which is the ID of that text box, the text of it along with a little colon just to separate it and then, then just the password TB which is the ID of the password text box and then we're just going to close the stream and we're redirecting them just to myspace.com just to uh, make it think that maybe they typed in their password wrong alright uh, let's go ahead and try this out let's see if there are any bugs in it hopefully not Yes, we would like to debug it. All right. Okay, looks like it's working fine. All right, here is our uh, page we made. We basically just changed these two and this. And you can see it looks pretty similar. Whoa, what I do? Okay stupid chrome and it looks pretty similar to the uh, that's actually the original myspace see this is what uh, it looks like in our fake one and this is what it looks like on our new one very similar and let's go ahead and try and log in so my email at emailprovider.com and let's just do my password login. Notice it's going to redirect us to myspace.com and let's go see if it has created that text file. Notice it says logfile.txt which is in the same uh, path as the default.aspx. Let's open that up. And there we go. My email at emailfrider.com, my password. So it works. Good job. And um, that is basically how you create your own spoofed uh, MySpace. I might also make one for Facebook if there is any uh, requests for it. And if you have any questions, um, would like to see any more tutorials, make sure to leave a comment and subscribe to all my videos. And also remember that uh, the source code for the default.aspx, the uh, code behind it, um, and the web.config files uh, will be on my forum. You have to sign up to view the code, so make sure to sign up and uh, er, participate in the community. Um, may may also, make sure to uh, visit my website. Uh, I have a bunch of software I've coded myself, a lot of cool programs. And um, if you have anything else, just leave a comment, come to my forums. This is Quackware signing out.